I was leading a session which was talking about disruption. So it was thinking about how you can disrupt your marketing strategies and not disrupt your customers' lives. So we were investigating the increase of ad creep and how many people are actually using ad blockers to try and get rid of ads that might be getting in the way, that might be a podcast they're trying to listen to or TV that they're trying to watch. And we started to discuss some of the other solutions that could be out there, and in particular, the affiliate channel and the different affiliate partnerships and how they can be a great way to still make sure that publishers get funded, but in a really way that's not invasive to customers and it really helps them on their journey rather than disrupting them. We spoke about the different ways that publishers can get funded and there's been a bit of a decrease in display advertising. Um, subscriptions could be an answer to that, but customers don't really like paying for subscriptions. So we spoke about how the affiliate channel could be the answer because it can really support customer journeys no matter where they are within that journey, whether they're right at the beginning of post-purchase, really help them convert or give suggestions or extra value adds, whether they're the point of actually buying the product. And then post-purchase as well, we found brand-to-brand -brand partnerships can be fantastic in increasing customer loyalty and giving those value adds to, to improve their kind of connotations with your brand. So we're seeing um, funding through display advertising is about declining about 14% year on year. So, and we're really seeing a lot of growth in the channel and a lot more different types of partners coming into the channel. There's always new technologies coming in. Um, we work a lot with content creators. We're seeing a huge rise in social activity. So I think the, the channel is quite unique because it's not really a channel. It's just a mechanism for partners to connect with brands. And so the types and nature of partners is always changing and diversifying. So we're quite excited to see about some of the new ones that might come in the next 12 to 18 months.